Hey guys. So I'm waiting on Chris to get back. That way we can go and get some stuff done that we've needed to get done for about a week now. And while, are you good, Diesel? Sorry. You good? Are you done scratching? Mama's making a video. We good? Okay. So, while I was waiting on Chris to get back, I typed up my appearance as a pro se litigant, and I wanted to share with you guys how I do that. So, whenever I share my screen with you guys on this video, the first thing that I always do is I go into layout. Hey. Oh, really? Hi. <laughs> Here, I'll share this with you guys real quick. Diesel. Those are mommy's glasses cases. Here, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He's a mess. He's a mess. But he's the one that makes all the noise whenever I'm trying to do my videos. <laughs> okay, so. Now, now that this got all messed up. I go into layout. And I hit the margin. And I make sure that I have an inch border all the way around. Quit. Go in there. Now, if you do something like this and you have a program that doesn't offer the, the preset margin like that. You can go in and do it like this. It would be an inch for the top, bottom, left, and right. So, now, whenever I go in and do this, I make sure that my spacing is set on one. And then for the top section here, I make sure that it's set on center and I do my font in 14. So then what you put in here is what court you're going to. So in this matter, it's going to be in the Scott Superior Court, state of Indiana. And then I will drop down, leave a space in between and then I'll go back on to my left. And this right here is um, what the case is about. So this one is the marriage of. And then tab over uh, probably two times and I always put my cause number there, which it's blank right now. Um, then you will hit return, enter, whatever your computer has on it, just so you can drop down the line. You'll put your name. I always put mine, all caps. And then I drop down another line, petitioner, and, and then here is where I would put the respondent's name, which I left blank for right now. And then I enter down twice. So return down twice. That way there is a space in between this section and this section. So here you go back to your center alignment. That way it stays right in the middle of the page. I always do bold, all capital, underline. And then here I'll go back over to my left margin tab over once and this line I use this for all of my documents it says comes now Tiffany filing her appearance as a pro se litigant in this matter then you'll enter down twice I do pro se litigant information for service as required by trial rule 5b2 in your state, it may be different. You'll want to look that up and I will um, do a video on how you guys can find out exactly what kind of formats they expect you to use.
if you are doing e-filing, which is what I'm doing. Um, they do allow you to write them out, but you still have to do it where it's legible and, you know, sort of a similar format. So here I put pro se litigant information and then my name, put my address the next line down, then my phone number, my email. Now, whenever you, whenever I do my email, well, let me get it highlighted here. I always make sure that I underline it. Now, there. Uh, no. I'm trying to show you guys there. So that turned up blue. I put that I will not accept service by fax. I don't want them to think that they can fax documents that um, get turned in in this matter from the respondent by fax. Like, I do not want them to try to send it to my phone number because I will not receive it. Here, I make sure that I tell them, yes, please correspond with me through my email. And then I'll hit enter until I can drop down and leave a space. So enter, enter twice. Tab over a couple of spots and I always put respectfully submitted, leave a space. This signature right here, which is the S, that's how I do my electronic signature. That's how they tell you to do it in the, uh, the trial and court rules. So S forward slash name, make sure that you have that where it's underlined as you're typing it. And then I enter down and then I put my name again and then I put pro se litigant. Now this is my certificate of service. I make sure that I have all of these on everything that I submit through e-filing. And I just put the undersigned hereby certifies that on March 14th, 2023, I electronically filed the foregoing document using the Indiana e-filing system, which is IEFS. Whenever you, well, whenever I submit anything in for e-filing, whatever is in that section of documents that I'm sending in, I always make sure that I have my page number. So I'll go into insert and then page number and then you can do bottom of page. And then I always select this one because I like for it to be in the center. That way every page is numbered consecutively and everything stays in order and I know how many pages it is that's being submitted. Now, whenever I go to save this, I always submit my e-filings as a PDF file. I didn't know how to do this. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'll go in and hit print, like I'm getting ready to print a document. And here it says Microsoft print to PDF. And then I always make sure that I have portrait orientation make sure that my letter size is right, make sure that my margins is on there, and then I'll just click print. And what that does then is it brings up this so that you can save it as a PDF document. I'm not gonna save this. I'm actually going to revert it back to the original once this video is done. But now that I have all of this in this computer, my appearance, if I ever need to file another appearance, what I'll do is I'll just make sure I keep this on my laptop, go in, edit whatever I need to edit, probably the names, probably what the matter is, the cause number, and the court system, definitely the date on my uh, certificate of service, and then I don't have to spend all of this time typing up this type of document every time I need it. So this is gonna be basically 
my template that I can use for my label stuff. And that is it. It takes a little bit of time to do to get it done. Uh, make sure you have all of the, the formatting correct. But once you have it done and you save it as a PDF, it's super easy to go in, change it, and use it in any type of case that you may need to file an appearance for. So until next time, love you guys.